In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the enhanced object properties that are available within ES6. So there are a few new features available for objects in ES6, including the property shorthand, computed property names, and also method properties. So we're going to take a look at those three things in this tutorial, and we'll start off by looking at the property shorthand, which is a really simple way of, when you're constructing objects, to miss out property names if you've got variables that have the same name. So for example, let's say we were going to send a username and password to an authorization endpoint. We might construct an object with that username and password to send by some method like the fetch API, for example. So here we already have the username and the password stored in variables with the same name, and when we're creating the auth object, we're literally just repeating ourselves by saying we have a property called username whose value is stored in the variable username. So the ES6 property shorthand allows us to remove the property name and use the variable name for the property name instead. And as you can see on the output on the right hand side, the auth object still has the username and password properties with the values that we've provided in the variables. So this is a really useful tool to make the construction of your object shorter, but you'll also find that it's useful to help you come up with names for your variables, because if they match the property names that you're going to be creating in your objects, you can make use of the property shorthand to make your code neater. So another feature that you can make use of with objects in ES6 is the ability to create computed property names, which simply means you can create the property name for an object based on some variable or expression or even a function. So you can see in the auth object now, we're actually creating a new property, which isn't called departments, it's actually taking the value that's stored in the department variable and using that as the property name. So this is really powerful when you don't know what the properties of the object that you're creating are going to be, and you can even loop through an array of values to create these properties, dynamically creating their names based on some expression that you define. The final feature we'll look at in this tutorial is the ability to add method properties to objects. And there's nothing too special about the method property syntax. It's just another shorthand that allows us to set up a new property on the object and assign it a function. So essentially this is more of a stylistic thing because we could do the same thing by creating a property called reset password and assigning a function to that property. But method properties follow the same sort of style that you might find in other languages like C Sharp or Java for example and they become really useful when you start working with classes as it helps to separate all of the functions that you're creating on your class into tidy blocks of code. And we'll come back to method properties when we go over classes in a few lessons time. So those are a few improvements to objects that have been added in ES6.